Okay. Hey everyone, this is Charlotte with ASMR Char, Charlotte or Char. Um, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you're watching this video. I'm very excited. We have uh, another, um, this is another collaboration video. And I hope you're all doing well, by the way. And thank you so much. Uh, I know a lot of you are from Katie, the Weather Shaman's channel. Um, thank you so much for coming and subscribing to my channel, watching my videos. And speaking of Katie, uh, she is our special guest today, Katie from the Weather Shaman. And I'll be linking her, um, putting a link for her channel down below and at the end of this video as well. Um, so, hey, Katie, how are you? Charlotte, thank you so much for having me on board today on your channel. I'm so excited about this collaboration and to all of you tuning in. Uh, hi, beautiful souls. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this lovely new moon and Gemini collaboration that Charlotte and I have planned for you. And uh, be sure to subscribe to Charlotte's channel because she has amazing content. And yes, I also have a YouTube channel as well called Weather Shaman ASMR. And I'd love for you to check it out and subscribe to my channel too. Yes, I love, love, love Katie's um, content. It's it's fantastic. And she has great services, too, with card reading. Anyway, Thank I can go on and on. I, I love it. <laughs> so um, before, yes, yeah, so this will be a new moon in Gemini. Um, we're recording this a little before, but we'll be posting it, uh, I'm thinking, the 28th. So And the new moon in Gemini is on May 30th. So this is kind of to prep for that. And... I'll talk more about the new moon in Gemini soon, but first, um, I wanted to, um, do you want to light, uh, some, we're going to light some candles just to absolutely have, I actually have a holiday candle, which is, and I have a wood wick candle that smells like cinnamon buns. It smells so good. I love that. Oh my gosh. Making me hungry. <laughs> No, it sounds so good. And this is a woodwick candle, so it makes like a really cool, like crackling fire noise. I love it. Oh, I love woodwick candles, Kitty. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You're welcome. What kind of candle is that? This one's just it, it's holiday scent and it's got this very sweet smell. Um and so just if you guys um everyone can just maybe take a moment to focus on the flames. And maybe take a few deep breaths with me. Breathe in. Hold it a little and out. Another breath in. Out. And one more in. Out. And just, I think this is a great time if you want to think of any intentions for this uh, new moon cycle. You can look at the flames, think about anything you want to manifest or any intentions for this new cycle, the new moon cycle in Gemini. All right. I'm going to just put that back here so you can still see the flame. And I wanted to, before, we're going to do a little bit of um, some affirmations repeating back and forth. And you guys can, you know, say them in your head or out loud if you want with us. Um, but before that, I wanted to go a little bit into some detail about the new moon in Gemini, which I'm actually very excited about. Um, because especially after this intense emotional uh, eclipse, full moon eclipse in Scorpio, which was definitely very intense emotionally. And I know for a lot of us, um, for me, for sure, um, I think this new moon in Gemini has a lot of really uh, good energy with communication, with connection and with uh, logic so like gemini is very logical and communicative so that can be a really good way to logically think through the emotions we've just experienced and also to express and communicate um those emotions and kind of be like sort it out a little better have more clarity 
and express yourself. I think it's a very, very good time in this new moon season to express yourself with words, written or verbal, with art, with music, with singing, uh, dancing, anything creative to sort of get, get these intense emotions kind of sorted out, but also like just expressing it. It's a great time for expression and um, also a very good kind of like, uh, I've been reading that the, this new moon specifically is a very good breath of fresh air and hope for kind of just um, moving forward. So it's a great time. Again, just express yourself and yeah, all that. So, and I have some affirmations if you want to, um, I'll say them and then Katie, do you want to maybe repeat them after? Sounds good. Okay. I, excuse me. <laughs> I embrace change with open arms and hope. I embrace change with open arms and hope. Sorry. Okay. I openly and freely express myself. I openly and freely express myself. My creativity flows. My creativity flows. I am open to beautiful new connections. I am open to beautiful new connections. I, oh, I ride the wave of transformation with love and joy. I ride the wave of transformation with love and joy. And so it is. And so it is. Those are beautiful affirmations, Charlotte. I love those. Perfect for the new moon in Gemini. Thank you. Yeah, I was trying to think about it. <laughs> There's not too many, but I'm hoping that helps with this new moon energy. Thank you. And so I think um, Katie and I have some crystals for you for some positive crystal energy. Um, so what crystals do you have, Katie? So I have this beautiful white halite crystal point, and this is wonderful for calming down an overactive, over hyperactive mind, and is wonderful for calming and soothing the emotional body. If there's any like volatile, suppressed emotions that are coming up, this could be in the form of frustration, uh, anger, sadness, pain, grief. This will help to get those emotions calmed and cooled down and will help with assisting during times of change and transformation. Okay, white highlight is wonderful for helping to navigate change more smoothly and with more ease and peace of mind. And then I have this beautiful selenite crystal heart with angel wings. And selenite is a very high vibrational crystal, which is very cleansing. And this is great for cleansing the energy field and just raising one's vibration to that of love light and healing, and also a reminder that we're all divinely protected. We all have guardian angels. We're never alone, and we're being guided every step of the way. So we're all being called to practice more faith than fear at this time, for if we have more faith than fear, we can get through anything that comes our way. I love that, Kitty. Oh my gosh. I love how you um, explained the crystals so beautifully. And I love, I can actually already feel that, uh, the selenite heart crystal, and it's so sparkly. I, I love the energy from that um, as well. Those are perfect for this season. Um, I also have a white halite. Wonderful. Which is similar, it's a smaller one. And then, so for all the, those, um, yeah, just sort of helping it calm down and, and um, navigate transformation and change, which is great for the new moon. And then just a beautiful green fluorite, which is yes, great that's for wonderful. Expressing, um, communicating from the heart, and um, rather than saying stuff impulsively. So it's really good. I feel like that's really good during this Gemini new moon as well. So, and let's see. Let's um. Why don't we, Katie? Why don't we both hold up the 
white halite. I think that's a wonderful idea. So we can have like a double <laughs> white halite crystal healing uh, session. And I'm going to integrate some Reiki healing into mine as well uh, to send healing to the viewer wherever the viewer may need uh, healing at the time of this video. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and do that. That would be great. Thank you, Katie. Dicomio, 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 chokre, chokre, seheki, 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 anche se shone, anche se shone, anche se shone. It's beautiful, Kitty. Oh my gosh, I can feel, I feel calmer already, honestly. Oh. I do too. I think it's it's from both of us <laughs> using the same crystal. That was a wonderful idea. Yeah, thank you. And then, um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead with the green fluorite right now. So everybody watching, if you can just... Um, Maybe get in touch with both the heart, your heart chakra, which is on top of the heart, and then the throat communication chakra, so that we can um, focus on communicating more from the heart space and just focus on this beautiful and green, translucent green fluorite. And I have a selenite heart to go with your green fluorite to remind us to stay heart centered. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my gosh. I love that. That goes perfectly. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Mm -hmm. So just focus on these beautiful crystals and try to remain open, everybody, and receptive to this beautiful energy coming in through time and space. I love the sparkles on that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is really pretty. I love it. Yeah. I love how the candle also um the flames fl are flickering through the through the selenite part. Yeah, Beautiful. it's awesome. <laughs> it's so cool. And so um. And then we have to probably wrap this up pretty soon, but we have uh, Katie and I um, intuitively pulled some a couple of cards um, before um, this before this session before this video started. Um, just trying to see any messages that want to come out for um, your highest and greatest good of everybody watching. Um, anything that you might that might be helpful during this new moon and Gemini season. And so, um, Katie, Katie, do you wanna um, go first with your cards or just one of the cards? Sure, that sounds good. I pulled out a couple of cards. Actually, they came flying out when I was shuffling the deck. And the first one is grounding. So now is a time for everyone to reconnect with Mother Earth, with Gaia, with her heartbeat. Okay, there are many ways we can ground. We can take off our shoes and walk around bare feet on the grass or barefoot on the grass, 
or you can actually physically touch a tree with your hand and feel the current within the tree. Okay, also getting to a body of water and putting your feet in the water and the sand. Uh, grounding is wonderful for balancing the body's bioelectromagnetic circuit. It's very calming to the central nervous system. It has many health benefits. It calms down anxiety, helps with depression. Okay, and if you're not able to get outside, bring live plants into your home and immerse your hand in a pot of soil. That will really help, okay? Bring live plants, perfect, that's beautiful, into your home. And just by placing your hands in the soil, that can help ground your energy as well. Absolutely. And put a crystal or two in your uh, plant pot because that's gonna help with plant growth. It helps the plants grow better. And this is gonna be very beneficial. And also the cave sanctuary card came out. This is all about making your home a sanctuary, a safe place, okay, a sacred place, and being extra aware of what you are allowing into your home and the way of people and things and everything contains energy. So be extra aware of the energy you're allowing into your home. And now is a time to feng shui and maybe redecorate and get some bright, happy, cheerful, vibrant colors in your home. Once again, bring in more plants, maybe Himalayan salt rock lamps, okay? Uh, anything that's going to help bring in some cheery, positive energy. And also uh, remember that home is where the heart is. Okay. And just do whatever you can to make your home environment a more nurturing place for yourself and nurture yourself and go within and really uh, contemplate and go through some self-reflection at this time. I love that. Oh my gosh, both of those. And I actually um, just was touching for the Mother Gaia one. I was touching a tree on a hike yesterday, just putting my hands and it felt amazing. I had my daughter do it too. Um, That's wonderful. I love, I love that Mother Gaia, like grounding, safe one and um, and the sanctuary being safe, another safe in the home. That's great. I love that. Some spring, summer decorating too is, is awesome. <laughs> um <laughs> Thank you, Kitty, for those those card readings. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. And um, I've only ever done card readings like once in another video. And so, yeah, these actually both came uh, flying out at once um, from my Oceanic Mermaid Tarot deck. And I thought this one was actually perfect. It's judgment uh, and self, I believe it's self-reflection. Sort of like just self-introspection. And um, I love this sort of like an angel on the water it looks like oh an angel mermaid maybe um and so i think that's great for this new moon and gemini season again with um i think just like communicating with yourself really i mean that's also important to just sort of go inward and communicate with yourself and make sure you have um you're aware of your you know communication with your own self as well as with others and um connecting with yourself and just kind of taking inventory also of like what maybe if there's some in you know like with self-reflection like negative thoughts negative self-talk and sort of try to go through your mind and your heart and see what you can um, possibly replace anything negative with with positive thoughts with affirmations with positive energies um and that kind of thing so Yep, and then the other one I pulled is the two, forgive me, I don't know too much about this one, but the two of wands, um, which I'm going to do an intuitive reading of this one. Um, and forgive me, I'm not a tarot reader. So I'm feeling like this is kind of like a gateway, actually. It looks like an almost an upside down gateway. Um, and also earlier, Katie, you were saying this also looks like 11, like um, 11, 11, like the, the angel or the, um, oh, what do you call them? I'm sorry. What do you call them, Katie? Sorry. Absolutely. 11, 11 or the number 11 in numerology is very, very powerful. And I'm seeing 11 on that card very strongly, which is an energetic gateway or portal that is opened. And you see the seahorse within that's about going within self exploration, diving deep, going within and really, really getting to the core of 
of what our soul is trying to communicate to us and how to proceed and move forward. And so now is a time of introspection, spiritual awakenings, ascension, growth, expansion and consciousness that you see that seahorse within that 11. So it's about going within and really going through a period of, of self-discovery and that will help assist with new growth and moving forward. Oh my gosh. I love that. Katie. That's actually, you said that really well. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm definitely seeing that too. And the, that's actually funny because I thought it looked like a gateway upside down kind of, and then 11, 11 is like a, a gateway uh, as well. So that's really, really, that's awesome. Perfect for this post eclipse season into the new moon energy. I love that. Thank you. Absolutely. And I love that your cards have water in them, like the ocean. And that's really great uh, for emotional healing. So if everybody can get to a body of water uh, to do some emotional healing work, that'll be wonderful. Mm-hmm. They're beautiful cards and you did a great job reading those. I love that. The messages are awesome. Thank you, Kitty. You too. I love, I love card <laughs> reading. So, and I also have a very mermaid journal where I had my affirmations written a lot of, um, but yeah, I, I love that get to a body of water, emotional healing, emotional support for that. And, um, so I think we're going to, um, wrap this video up though, but thank you everyone so, so much for joining us. And I hope that this, um, when, whenever you're watching that, this, that this helps whether in the day or the night and, um, oh yeah. And Katie, thank you so much for joining us. And I'm going to put a link for your channel. Please subscribe. to You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank you. It was a pleasure. (laughs) It was so fun to have you. Thank you, Katie. And um, so everyone just, yeah, just um, this will be a couple days before the new moon. So um, you can rewatch it if you want and just um, plant seeds of manifestation. And just, I hope, um, I hope it goes well in this new breath of fresh air and, and new season. So thank you and have a great, Blessed day with high good vibrations.